Today's cities seek to accommodate expansion by adding infrastructure, which is often years behind housing completions. This leads to yet more highway gridlock with all the problems that this entails. In order to deal with the dramatic rise in world population, the cities of tomorrow must be both expandable and sustainable. Critical to this effort will be a minimization of infrastructure requirements by allowing the building of communities where work, play, habitation and essential services are all within easy reach without resorting to expensive crosstown transportation systems. In order to address this issue, Schindler has defined the discipline of transit management, which brings an entirely new holistic approach to passenger movement from one location in a building or campus to another. The port technology by Schindler is designed to allow the rapid, convenient, safe and secure transport of an individual from point A to point B. This can provide a level of cohesion between locations which opens up entirely new possibilities for the designs of tomorrow. The Personal Occupant Requirements Terminal or Port, which is the central component of port technology, has been designed to provide users with a totally new communication platform, one in which they can truly let the system know their requirements. The unit is packed with communications technology including a high-resolution touchscreen, microphone, card reader and speaker, all driven by a very fast microprocessor and regulated by a people detector to prevent energy consumption when not required. The port can be wall-mounted or comes with an attractive pillar for even more flexibility. The port can also be used in horizontal mode where it makes the use of an entry barrier extremely simple. Choose your barrier supplier, add two ports with a simple three-wire interface, and an entire access control and elevator dispatching system is achieved without the design headaches associated with the normal multi-supplier approach. Let's look at some examples of port technology in action. The first thing to notice when using a port is the personalization it provides to every user Gone is the general purpose numerical keyboard to be replaced by passenger relevant data enabling rapid requests to be made and responded to. This data may be generated by a card. It may be contextual, that is dependent on where a passenger is located and where they have the right to go. Or indeed, it may be learned. As a passenger uses the system over time, if enabled, the port can learn their travel preferences throughout the day and be ready to offer them destinations in order from the most to the least likely. Once a set of destinations is offered, the way in which a passenger selects one is also variable. Naturally, he can touch the screen, but in some cultures touching a device which is in public use is becoming less and less acceptable. With the port, there is no need. Simply hold your card in place until your floor is highlighted remove it and you're registered. When your destination request is communicated to the system, the most sophisticated dispatching algorithm in the industry calculates every possible way that it, together with all the other calls in the system, can be served in order to maximize performance and communicates the best car assignment back within 100 milliseconds. Uniquely, Schindler, even within this short time, can calculate every possible permutation of individual journeys and determine the best one, so you always know that your elevators are running at maximum efficiency. Port technology uses forward credentialing, where your card is only valid from your destination if you used it at your point of origin, to gently persuade passengers to use the system correctly and not simply catch a ride with their friends. Once this happens, not only is there greater efficiency in the system, but a real-time picture of building occupancy is obtained. This can greatly simplify overall building management, as well as making such tasks as emergency evacuation much easier to perform. Port technology has been designed to be an extremely environmentally friendly system. The port device itself is both manufactured and specified to be as green as possible, but even more potential savings may be obtained by using Eco Mode. This approach uses the fact that during low traffic, energy usage is high, 
because of the large number of elevator trips taking just one or two people to their destination with almost no waiting time. Since the cars are nearly empty, there is a large discrepancy between their weight and that of the counterweight, leading to high energy consumption. Eco mode works by only placing in service the number of cars necessary to serve all passengers with a reasonable waiting time, and then loading those cars to be as balanced as possible. The resultant energy savings can be dramatic, especially in buildings where light traffic is the norm for much of the day. Port technology has been designed to make possible the visions of the future. We believe we can significantly lower the number of instances where a brilliant building fails to be viable because of its elevator core requirement. We can do that by giving designers options for moving people that they have never had before, like double deck elevators, which operate as the main passenger elevators in the building and thus radically reduce space requirements. And we can do it for minimal extra cost, which will usually be more than paid back by the greater efficiency of the system. So in conclusion, we invite you to talk to us early and often about your project. Let us model your building or campus and ensure you have the ability to get the best possible performance out of it. Performance that will delight you and your building occupants alike. Performance that can only come from the exciting new Port Technology.